nine under, gets it to 14 under. Cantlay, though, red hot. Birdies five of his first six to start on this front nine. Yeah, Birdies his first four, makes the par oh. five. Hit a huge drive here on this par five ninth. And a good putt there. Excellent speed. 342 yards down that ninth fairway set him up to go for that green easily in two. That's a perfect view to see exactly where he strikes this. Mm. Yeah, no problem there. Great first nine holes here on Saturday for him. That gets him a share of the lead. He's playing competitors right down the middle of the fairway. Just a uh, layup here for Patrick. Water comes in at about 3.30, and this tee shot plays 10 yards down the hill. Trev, got to be a good feeling. You know it. Get three or four holes in your round and think, I, I've got it today. Yeah. And go. Yeah. Well, he pushed that a long way down there. The first couple days, he was just cruising, wasn't he? Didn't quite have his best stuff. Yeah, pushing it way down here off the tee, Terry. Only 107 yards. Anything outside of 10 feet, he won't be happy, and this looks good. Oh, right at it. Beauty. And you've said that often. Pushing it way down the fairway here. That's what it's been doing all day today. Yeah. Smiley, it's got to be fun to watch this up close. He's making the game look so easy. This is at 13, Patrick Cantley. Yeah, Kurt, another gettable par five here. One you can cut the corner, but this is a little out to the right. Talking to Jamie Mulligan, his coach, he loves the way he's swinging it. High cut right up into the air. It should spin a little bit with that wind. And this is way up in the air. If it's not too spinny, it should get there. Oh, it landed just into the slope. If it lands on the green, it's really tough to keep it on that green. Back here at 13, Cantlay's third. Right on the upslope, a very makeable chip. I don't think he's going to be real happy with that one, to be honest with you. And he's going to take another look at that. All kind of melts into the putter face. Yeah. Eighth birdie of the day. That gets him to 16 under and the solo lead. If this is hit solid, it might have to get down. Same thing, that's fine. Short follow through, I'm sure. He had it on the right line, just lacked a little. Good. Yeah, good read, good stroke. 59 is still on. to see the ball speed here. 177, hanging up that right hand side. Yeah, needs a little bit of a bounce. Got it? I'm just confident he knew it. Mm. Boy, the divots there. Well done. If you're Patrick here, you're just looking to be about six or seven yards short of this hole and you're putting up the hill. Big full swing. Just heading a little bit right. Not much, though. Yeah. That for Eagle to get it to 19 under. Because he hit that tee shot so well down there, 341. Keep going. Oh, had it. He had it. He had it. Mm. Birdie at the par five though, 18 under. He is 10 under par on the round. It's a par 71 golf course. He's only made 55 feet of putts <laughs> for the first 16 holes. Incredible ball striking from him. Average proximity, 21 feet. And I think he really liked the club here. He didn't take long to make a decision. It's gonna be okay. This should feed down. Yeah. Oh, here we go. They do. Wow. What a good read. How good is that read? Unreal. What a clinic this has been. That is some scorecard. Yeah, beauty. 
Paul. Thank you. Par the first day, birdie yesterday here. Yeah, that was in hard well, too. Job number one. Middle done. of the fairway now. This looks pretty good, guys. Little spin, stay right there, got a chance. Oh oh. Just enough pace to keep it on that line. There it is. 60 for Cantlay. Tying the course record. 19 under through three rounds and up by two looking to win this for the second time. Thanks for watching the PJ Tour on YouTube. Watch another video right here.